All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm doing a little video here over the Finnish movie Sisu. So Sisu is, like I just said, a Finnish movie about a former commando who, after discovering a massive amount of gold in the ground, tries to cross German lines and bring his gold to a bank. There's a squad of retreating Germans that he meets on the road, and they are eventually become hellbent on stopping him. Uh, because they figure out how much gold he has and they want it for themselves and uh, they're doing a scorched earth policy, scorched earth policy so everyone's supposed to be dead anyway. Um, so the Finnish soldier, it's he was that guy was based on the most prolific sniper of all time, Simo Heia, uh, who's a Finnish sniper in World War II who had over 500 kills in World War II. Uh, so the main character of Sisu refuses to die, even though he is severely beaten up multiple times. He's shot a few different times. He's impaled by multiple pieces of shrapnel at different times. He almost drowns at one point. He, he's hung by the neck, and he's a survivor of not one but, but two plane crashes over the course of the movie. Uh, he also drink. He also gets, uh, while he's underwater, he gets oxygen out of somebody's slit throat. Uh, who he, 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 he cuts someone's throat and then sucks their oxygen up. Um, the only dialogue for the main character in the entire movie is the final line of the movie. Uh, that was a nice touch, but I didn't even realize that that was true until I thought about it for a while. So yeah, the German soldiers, uh, there are some women in the movie. So it's basically the, the cast is basically just the Finnish commando, the squad of German soldiers, and then a group of about eight women. It's a pretty small cast. There's no extras. It's kind of a, it's, everything's pretty sparse. Um, but the Germans refer to the group of women that they've captured, they've kidnapped as the bitches. It's always the bitches. It's never as the women. Uh, but those women eventually do help the Finnish commando kill all the Germans. The movie kind of needs to be seen to be believed. I mean, if you watch the trailer, there's some pretty cool kills, but it's it's pretty unbelievable, some of the stuff. I mean, mostly in a it's just not realistic way. Uh, it's a super ridiculous movie. It's definitely quirky, and it's one of the most unbelievable movies I've ever seen. Like, if you have trouble suspending your disbelief, uh, you'll, you won't like this movie. It is fairly action-packed, and it doesn't waste a lot of time on stuff like character building or exposition or backstories or anything. Uh, the nature shots in the movie were a highlight of the movie for me. There's some really cool shots of um, the Finnish countryside. Um, and there, there are some cool depictions of how the Nazis uh, did a scorched earth policy as they retreated out of Finland. Uh, the movie is set during World War II, but it's not a... I, I mean, it's in some ways accurate uh, in terms of like the guns and the different stuff and the uniforms, but just generally it's not, it's not really believable. Um, so, so to summarize the entire movie, it's basically the whole meme of mom, can we see John Wick? No, we have John Wick at home. Uh, and John Wick at home would be the movie Sisu, which is kind of a knockoff of John Wick. I mean, it's a good time and stuff. Um, it's a fun movie to watch, but it's just not super amazing. Not like, you know, some cinematic masterpiece. So I'd give the movie a B slash a B plus and out of four stars, I'd give it three stars out of four. With an extra 10 bitches on top. Uh, some of the bitches in the movie are pretty attractive. Uh, but yeah, so three stars out of four with an extra 10 bitches on top and uh, a grade of B slash B plus. Thank you. Like and subscribe, please.